Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sudoku. Today we're going to be looking at Quite Orderly by Fractured Lace. Cells that are a chess knight's move apart must not be the same number. Looks like that. Chests that are a king's move apart also must not contain the same number. And normal Sudoku rules apply. So a number like this one has a wide range. Additionally, orthogonally adjacent cells must not contain consecutive numbers, so this cannot be a 1, uh, which gives us our first one. And if you look at how 2 works here, uh, normal Sudoku hits all those, King Sudoku hits both of those, Knight Sudoku hits both of those, Main 2 must either be there or there, 1 there does not work. Uh, let's see, we get the 1 down there. And we know one can't be there, so one is either there or there. Somewhere over here, somewhere over here. Um, somewhere over here. I can maybe get somewhere, we'll see. Ah, and this one hits all those, that one hits all those, so the one in this area must be there. And that one hits both of those, meaning that that one goes down like that. This is a 1, and this is a 1. So we're able to get pretty far there. Can we finish? I don't think so. Let's move on to 2. 2 can only be there or there. Ah, but in this box, can't be next to a 1, so 2 must be there or there. Either way, those 2s are not uh, allowed, really. Now this must be a 2, and I can figure that out just because the 1s there sort of block off both of those. Ah, these 1s clues are very helpful because a 2 here would eliminate this one possibility. Same for a two there. Two must be down here somewhere, which eliminates this two, giving this two and this two. We end up with this, I think. And twos can't go anywhere in here. So two must go there or there. This can't be a one anymore. So that can't be a 1. This is a 1. Now this 2 shoots down, meaning neither of those two possibilities can be true. Ends up like this and this, with a very symmetrical looking 1s and 2s. Now we move on to the 3s. That's the only 3 acceptable space, because normal Sudoku from this 3, and then this 2 just hits both of those, and this 2 hits both of those. 3 must be there, 3 must be there. That 3 doesn't work because of the anti knight. Means that this is the 3 now. And this is the 3 for this middle row. That can't be a 3 because of how the 2s work. Neither of those can be 3s because of how those 3s are segmented. Now this 3 takes away this 3 possibility, which finishes up all of those it looks like. Now we can't forget the non-consecutive rule, 2 cannot go next to 3. Therefore, the twos all finish up. And now this two is next to a three. So it similarly uh, fixes all that up. Now we've got four left to place. And this cell is where we start because this 3 sees all those, 
this three sees that, and this three sees that. This is where we get the first four from. Four in here is down this line, four in here is down this line. This is all the places four can go in this box, which normally wouldn't be anything, but this four would actually hit with knight move there and there. So that four possibility no longer exists. Now four can't be there or there because of where those fours are. This four now would eliminate both possibilities from this square which doesn't work. So this must be the four. This must be the four because if it was here, it would be next to a three. A four up here goes in one of these two spots, which eliminates this four and this four. That four hits down here. Now this must be a four because again, can't go next to a three. That finishes up the ones. And that's the last four for the puzzle. On to fives. Oh, again, the bottom right just sorts it real fast. Can't be there because that would be next to a four. Can't be there, it's either there or there. Just highlighting everywhere where there's a possibility. Isn't that neat? To figure all that out. From what seems like so little information. That's five hits all those squares. So that five is somewhere in there. Which makes this a five. This a five, this a five. Final five right there. Now we got six left to place. Here's something. Uh, this six sees down like this. That six like this, and uh oh, that's next to a five. Six right there, because five, five, five. Six right there, because this is a five. Six right there, six right there, six right there. I think that's all the sixes. There's always the danger of working too fast. Seven right here. Seven right here, and now the puzzle is winding down. Because of how great the restriction is, once you finish one of these, it's very much methodical. Now for the ending, I just have to find an empty space next to a seven.
and 10 minutes and 18 seconds with three given digits. Whew. That was a good puzzle. Quite orderly by fractured lace. I really like the geometry of how powerful the one is at the start. Seeing all those by Sudoku, King's Rule, Knight's Rule, and then for the final, it uses the orthogonally adjacent clue. So it sort of takes all of these separate ideas and uh, combines them to where a single Sudoku number can have this much pull. It's pretty neat. If you enjoyed this solve, leave a like and I'll see you on the next Sudoku. Thanks for watching.